do you know any Vietnam War strategies or like could you reenact something from the war? Uh, I can't reenact anything. The main thing about Vietnam is this. The primary opponents were the Viet Cong who were North Vietnamese natives. Okay. They played dirty through guerrilla warfare by digging deep, 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 deep tunnel systems so okay. deep and complex that they could fit entire tanks in them. How about this? Let's get, let's get some Viet Cong people. Oh, wait. Oh, I was going to say, go for Tonkin. Let's get some Viet Cong. Um, maybe Shinji and Trish could be Viet Cong. Okay. And then you be an American hero and just maybe sort of act out. Um, some of the stuff that happened on the war. Could you guys do that? The Viet Cong love to hide in tunnels. Shinji, get down there. The Viet Cong. <laughs> the Viet Cong love to hide in tunnels. They would set traps using with punji sticks, which is when you sharpen bamboo and you shit all over it. So I when the American GI steps in it, well, they get infected with all sorts of horrible diseases because human feces is one of the most nat toxic, naturally occurring substances on earth. No animal can eat our shit and be okay. Even a dog will throw the fuck up. That's how toxic that shit is. Fall. And sometimes the Viet Cong will make a surprise visit. But other times, the American GI were fucking ready for him! Hey, I might give a speech, but one thing I have to correct. Yeah? It's not $5 sucky sucky anymore, it's $50. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. cool, that's but cool. But continue, you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you, yeah. I appreciate it. But yeah, so the Viet Cong would hide in tunnels. Shinji, get in your tunnel! <laughs> the American soldiers would have to crouch down. Usually with a pistol, how the fuck are you gonna have an M1911 in a goddamn Viet Cong tunnel and hold your fucking flashlight, Chet? That's not how it fucking worked! Sometimes, but up, but usually the Viet Cong was sneaky. The Viet Cong would dig sharp corners around the tunnels and then they would ambush the American troops and kill them! Ah, like that! Ah, oh, ah, My spine! And then, of course, the American soldiers would wait with faded breath, hoping that their allies came out of the tunnel. But after a certain while, it's like, well, fuck it, they're probably dead, so they had to burn the tunnels. And of course, the fucking generals in the military industrial complex of the United States decided, oh, hey, this is how we're going to win this war. We're not going to stay on the land that we just fought to capture. We're going to just leave. And let the Viet Cong rebuild everything, so the whole cycle would go again, and again, and again, and all the men who were drafted into Vietnam would come back to a bunch of smelly, bitch-ass hippies spitting on them, calling them baby killers for shit they didn't even want to do. And yeah, that's Vietnam. The Vietnam War ended because, again, President Nixon did not want not want the peace treaty to go through in the late 60s, so he offered the in the late 60s, so he offered the South Vietnamese president a better deal. This turned out to be a bad idea because the North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong, with help of Pol Pot, who they would fight again against later on, after China invaded Vietnam when we left, whose ass they soundly kicked, they did one final push to the capital of South Vietnam, and the South Vietnamese people, who were so discouraged by the rampant corruption in their government, and the non-stop barrage of North Vietnam said, fuck it, we quit. In fact, I think they killed their own president or there was like a coup towards the end or some shit. Because they are fucking tired of him. Weren't they also sick of the Americans being there too? They some were? Vietnamese. Well, yeah, some Vietnamese were sick of them, others were happy. Because the North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong were again literally like raping, pillaging, and plundering everything. So and again, the Viet Cong were taking play. kids and it's like, okay, you're going to be a sex slave or a suicide style. bomber? With the help of Jane Fonda, who's probably like, come here little boy, I'm an American this actress, take this That's candy. The nicest hair I've ever seen. Because she's Jane fucking Fonda and she needs to die. But anyway, that's how the Vietnam War ended. We didn't necessarily lose by numbers or being soundly defeated, like how Vietnam soundly defeated China and Pol Pot afterwards, which was really fucking impressive because goddamn, we bombed the shit out of them. But still, it's like, the South Vietnamese just gave up. And everyone in America didn't fucking like the war. So it's like, well, fuck, what's the point of being here? Let's get everyone back home before people get really fucking angry. And then, of course, there was still the war in Laos, but that wasn't disclosed or declassified till long after. That's why they call it the Ghost War, because it didn't happen until long after the Vietnam War. Well, they didn't admit it happened until after that.
Yes. Um, then the Vietnam War also start with um, the French colony of South Vietnam trying to evade from France, and France was having war with them and brought in America, and then France evaded from South Vietnam. Yes, and no, it was very confusing war. because we were very much against colonization. In fact, after World War II, there's a time where the United States and the USSR joined forces. Uh, it's not the Panama Canal, the Suez Canal, somewhere around there. Great Britain and French were trying to annex that part, and both the Soviet Union and the United States for the first and only time, and they sat, and we soundly defeated them. It was a very small little war that no one really talks about. Mm -hmm. It's kind of goofy. I wish they would make a movie about it. Yeah. That sounds like a goofy movie. <laughs> I'm now imagining Goofy from Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but that's how we lost the Vietnam War. It wasn't necessarily because of the people at home or the fact that our troops were being ambushed a lot by the Viet Cong because we really only lost tens of thousands of men. Yes, that's a lot of people. But in the grand scheme of things, especially when compared to the loss of life from the North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong, holy shit, that's pennies on the fucking dollar. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Nixon did win his election because, again, he stopped the early peace treaty. And he was able to appeal to the silent majority because he said enough with these radical hippie communists. But I also don't like these fucking Bible thumping cunts. I just want shit to be somewhat normal. So people voted for him. Let's see. Another reason why he won is because of the assassination of Bobby Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy was killed by a combination of Mossad and CIA forces. Okay, alright. I think we're done. Everybody, round of applause. I want to get into the other 70s stuff. You're pretty good. You're pretty good, man. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's show our new friend around the house. And, uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. What's so, what's your name? Ty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all, too. Uh, so I'm, I'm Thomas. Thomas? I'm from Michigan. Alright, we gotta cut this cringe pretending you don't know who he is thing. Y'all know who I am. You know who yeah, I am. Hi, Simon. Forget your name. I'm not Daniel. Yeah. Hi, Simon. <laughs> not Daniel. Uh, anyway, are we you... this man's dick, his propeller stick. Ser serious question, you, are you going by Ty this time? Um... Yeah. Which one do y'all prefer? Either one. That's what Ty. you prefer. That's what you prefer. What, your name? What, your yeah, it's your name. Ty, you can call me Ty. It'll be Ty. bad for marketing. I'm so Ty. Ty. Yeah. Just don't you come outside. Ty, welcome yeah. back to the fish tank. Hey, isn't that better? Isn't that better, man? Great. Thanks for the weapon speech, Jimmy. You they knew I was coming, that's why you no. prepared that speech? They told me to write about the 70s. I wasn't even done. I'm going to read the rest of that speech to the audience later. Could you go read that in the bathroom alone or something? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's show Ty around and try to set him up somewhere nice. You guys already cleaned up pretty good. That's good. It looked very bad here, uh, like 20 minutes ago. Like, this group's a little cleaner. Uh, but yeah, give him a house tour, show him around, alright? Uh, I guess we'll start over here with the bar. What? Does Jimmy do everything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just yell at them. Uh, so this is our TV and we have a Pong system to play. You, uh -huh. need, a, you need to get a screwdriver to reattach it, but it does work. It's just a bit glitchy. This is our homemade decoration. We put a banana in a condom. It only a recently. Condom? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Is that Charleston White condom? It's a Magnum condom. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my condom. This is Order Man's ashtray from the 1920s, which I brought with me. It has helped us in many battles. You cannot, well, they might let you get serve your own alcohol, but we have to wait for Chris Lynch to serve our alcohol. Why is that? Uh, because he is our god. Oh, okay. And gods give alcohol. This is the art wall. Shinji's nice paint drawing of guts was ruined by Trish during her tyrannical rule. That's Thomas in his Pornhub video. Yeah. And that's also okay. King Thomas. Uh -huh. That's an entity that's in the house. <laughs> oh my god. This is the pedophile that we chased out of the house. Why, why is, why is, that's another pedophile? 
Yeah. There was another yeah. pedophile here, yes. How do y'all know? She said, uh, she, 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 she said talked she about said. how when she was 20, she fucked a 16 year old boy, and then we kept saying, wow, that's really fucked up, that's really fucked up, and then she started saying, it's um, hemophilia. Um, actually, it's a bee, 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 and it's actually normal. It, 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 and she was really smelly and didn't shave, so we fucking hated her. And she, she was really, really creepy. Gross. And I rubbed my old spice on that bitch's face so she could smell better, and she finally quit. She smelled really good. Jimmy Bravo was a success. Yeah. Aww. Is this new guy that actor from the hit movie Big Trouble in Little China? Okay. In here okay. is one of our fine bathrooms. And they decided to put cameras in our bathrooms, so we have to use these sensor walls so no one sees our penis. That's a sensor wall. Yes, and then these is the washer and the dryer. They're very, very <laughs> We don't know what you're here from. Also, all around the house, you'll find these. I like these because if you turn them up, other one. If you turn these intercom systems up uh -huh. and turn them on, you can get funny noises coming out of them. Crank it up all the way, baby. Uh, they don't really make noises anymore. Oh, yeah, it does. Did. You have to turn them all on. Oh, okay. You just push buttons on each. You just get some tinnitus every now and then, but that's all right. You, hello? 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 They kind of work. They kind of don't. They make funny noises when you turn them all on and start pushing the buttons. This is our fireplace. We're not allowed to end the fireplace anymore. China. Because we set one of the first contestants China. on fire. We didn't like her. So we asked him to check the fireplace for bats. That's the leg of someone that Judge doesn't like to talk about. That's not like Ghost Strike from that egg. From that egg. Yes. Yeah, tell about the new banner. Is he, did he lost his legs? What happened? We're not sure what happened to him. We have his coffee. Oh, yeah? But, uh, yeah, we have a man named Judge now. I think he got eaten in the sure. In the form of 70s magazines about the importance of not drinking too many cocktails. Over here is where we have the choo-choos. We are missing a choo-choo. We have the second wanted poster. We are stuck with him. And as you can see, we have a ghost who leaves ectoplasm. This is our outside area. Oh yeah, this is, yeah, this is the backyard. the dog house and the weights. This is where we get pumped up and jacked. Yeah, I mean, bring that bed if you have beef with someone. Like, if you got a problem if you got a problem with someone, just bring, you bring it and then what happens? If there's a challenge, it shows up, uh -huh. and if you lose, he goes to the doghouse for like, until like 12 o'clock in the morning. In the uh, next and, day. Yeah, I I mean, and you have to wear a collar and chain. And you have to be like, Come on, my nigga Jimbo, don't skip over that you fuck dogs. Y'all can't challenge me. Be nice to the guests. I mean, we could, but I don't know, like, what's the rules be of, like... We weren't allowed to challenge Nifty the pedophile, so you might have those same rules. Yeah, that's uh, Gold Striker's hair. And that's Jesus. That's what right. Jesus hair. Here are the two ugliest women in the house. We don't know where they came from. We don't know why they look like that, but they're here and their titties are out. They don't know who they are. That's Nifty. That's a 16-year-old. Oh, you know, you might be right. <laughs> you might be right. This is bedroom two. Right now. Because we had our uh, hell room challenge of sorts in there, where we were all stuck in there for well over a day. Each having to do challenges for ten thousand dollars. I was the second one out because I was going cuckoo. Could y'all eat and drink during that challenge? Uh, whatever yeah. they provided. Yeah. We had zips, and they provided grits for food. Mm. I didn't eat the grits. And jalapenos. Sound like prison food. Over here is something you, a Vietnamese man, will enjoy. It is a secret tunnel. Nice. I love tunnels. If you go into this tunnel... Hi, Simon. It's time. Oh my god, they're going through there. Okay. Excuse me of being a pervert. I was on a mission. My pants got hooked on the door when I escaped because Grant blew my cover. So people thought I was masturbating in there. That's why they call it the Gooning Cave. Those, this is bedroom three. Those are the bunk beds. And this yeah. is the couch, which serves as weirdly the most comfortable bed in the house. It does. Yep. Which bed is most comfy? This, this couch. couch. This is the door that we are not allowed to open, and that's another intercom system. This, these are the fish in the fish. They are very comfy. Have they been fed today? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Now this is the worst toilet in the house. 
Why is that? Because I, it I takes forever for the I tank to refill. I think that is the choice. So yeah, if you're taking a shit, do not use this. It's like actually where you suck on it for like 10 minutes as it refills. You gotta wait to flush it or something. The shower and everything else works fine. This is not my bathroom. I kept it clean when I was in this room, but I was kicked out of this room and everything went to hell. Yep. Gotta be clean. And then, of course, well, I mean, yeah, you know, we got shelving uh, over here. It's a hall bathroom. Yeah. Under no circumstances can these cans be involved in any sexual activity that may or may not occur in this house. There's also money powder in it. Money powder? Yeah. Money and on the side of this refrigerator oh, is powder. the glorious penis I drew when we first came in here. I gave it a top hat, a mustache, and its own penis. Nice. And do you always sound like this, or is just? Uh, no, I'm just being dramatic. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm not so. <laughs> so good. Uh, thanks for the introduction. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> how's God here? It's a long flight. Pretty tired. You look like so, a gambler. Gambler? Mm-hmm. Why? Why are you doing that? You got an awesome fit. Well, because Thank of the you. awesome fit and the fact that it's leopard pattern. Uh, usually that means that you just came from Vegas. Oh. I only gamble one thing. What? My life. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hell yeah. That's all you gotta hell do yeah. I too am a fan of the deer hunter. Hmm. Not so much playing Russian roulette myself, but I enjoy watching it from time to time. It's a good movie. We get two local sex offenders to play it, and we give them no choice. We're hmm. behind bulletproof glass. Yeah. And we have flamethrowers aiming on the inside. And if they win, they get to Monasa 16 year old. Uh, well, they get to go back to their home. And on that, the sex and Well, they're all the sex offenders registered already, so, I mean, they can if they want to, but, well, they know we'll be watching. Also, we, uh, we, we can only get water from this one, because it's distilled. It's Is that full of Y3 water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it is? It's filtered, okay. yeah. Okay. I'd be sure. Yeah, no fluoride in this front. Yeah, because, you know, this is responsible by fluoride. Mm. Mine is genetics. And Agent Orange. Shit. You didn't cover Agent Orange. Yeah, that's true. They cut yeah. me off before I could go any further. I was about to cover the Bobby Candy assassination. And How I, do you know so much about... I just like history, especially American history. Yeah? And it's like, yeah, the CIA declassified documents that showed, like, yeah, so the real shooter was a woman in a polka dot dress. Now Saran Saran? No, Saran Saran was firing blanks because the guy standing next to him kept getting powder burns, and the only way to get those type type of powder burns on your face is if the person next to you is firing blanks. Well, and it's also like, why the fuck would they walk into the kitchen? And on like, top of which, so a revolver weird. can't shoot 13 shots without being reloaded. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. again, the woman in the polka dot dress was caught by witnesses planning Bobby Candy's assassination, running away from the shooting, saying, we did, we did it, we killed him. And all the witnesses that kept coming forward, the CIA operatives would just keep saying, oh, no, you did not see this woman. No, you're lying. This woman never existed. So why do you think they killed Bobby Kennedy? Because he wanted to reopen the JFK assassination, because clearly a magic bullet did not kill his brother. All right. So what do you think killed him? Uh, two gunmen, a combination of Mossad and CIA, because JFK was the last president to say, hey, I don't want Israel to be doing this to Palestine or have nuclear arms. Do y'all agree with that? And yeah. he was the last president yeah. to be fully against the uh, industrial war yeah. complex created by Herbert Hoover and Woodrow Wilson in conjunction. I'm actually surprised for y'all ages, y'all into this stuff. Mm -hmm. you know? I ramble because to stay safe. Oh, okay. Especially because I haven't got many cigarette deliveries. I'm worried they got shut off. I'm like I'm the oldest one here, is that true? I'm 36. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm 47. 27? You're, you're the same. 21. Wow. I'm 22. Wow. We had the pedophile was 32 years old. Hey, Ty. Now, they speak of you. She the 16-year-old when she was 20. Yeah. Why does she remember that? Um... It's a guy, pretty yeah, much, uh, he's anti-communism, so he's going to rant. Can someone else please communism. talk to the Viet Cong? Jimmy Autism is going to make all of his hair fall out. This nigga retarded. 
Don't mess with them, Jeremy. I haven't watched his hair, so he wouldn't want that bad. They harp on Jimmy a lot. 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 We had a Taiwanese girl who thought that this was shit shit for us. They gon' do that Vietnamese guy T-Tex a lot now that I'm here. Cause they know what's up. But I'm immune to it. What are they? What is it saying? We don't understand Vietnamese. Um, it's a guy pretty much, um, very, like, patriotic about his country, like the South Vietnam. So he's threatening to, like, any, like, communist talk shit, he will finish him with a gun. Is he some drunk? It's kind of like your speech. It's like, it's like, uh, when I first heard him, like, wow, you're the white boy's in that <laughs> I just don't like authoritarianism in general because Nazism and communism are one and the same. They both come from Karl Marx, who was an overgrown man baby who just had to get a fucking job. Oh my. Does the guy sound drunk when he's saying that? Um, no, he's his. No, there's actually a video of him saying it, and his face was red. He was like very mad. Oh, shit. And he's like, I say in his 50s or 60s. He's not like the mother of people. And he was pointing a gun at like a phone, yeah. So, yeah, he was ready to uh, shoot. Can I get you a drink? Uh, yeah. I need a drink. For one drink, would you like a refill? Yes, please. Would you like a refill? You're good? Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. 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 I'm good.